Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. This is cardiac collection number 26. Angina type stable, invariant, and unstable. Acute coronary syndrome. Alright, let's get going for my sticky note found on Nursing Camp on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. And we're going to be talking about unstable angina, all types of angina, or acute coronary syndrome. All right, so what is acute coronary syndrome, ACS? Acute coronary syndro syndrome says that there's an acute process going on, ACS. And then that acute process is angina. And what is angina? Angina is the uh, perfusion of the, of the heart muscle, the ventricle, the coronary arteries around the outside, and what happens is, is that there's a problem. There's a blockage of some sort. And that blockage is causing starvation of oxygen. And when they have decreased oxygen, the first sign that you'll start to see is ST depression. And ST depression is called um, ischemia. I ischemia. And ischemia is chest pain. And chest pain is angina. Okay, so when a person has chest pain, it's it's acute. But we talked about that there's three types, and the, the, we're going to differentiate the, the three. So stable angina is repeatable. Okay, so if the person is walking and they have chest pain, they stop and the chest pain goes away. All right, so they are good to go. Now these patients need education. They'll also get a cath where they're going to evaluate is it truly that and they'll also be put on get some nitro to take home. And they're going to say hey this, if this happens take your nitro, sit down and stop what you're doing. Take your nitro. If the pain, chest pain doesn't go away take another nitro. Five minutes. And then if the chest pain doesn't go away, call 911 and then take another nitro. And there's going to be a differentiation between these two. You're going to see do three uh, or call after two. That's not really that important. Just understand that with stable angina, they take nitro, the pain should go away. If it doesn't go away and, and, or the, and they have stopped, it is unstable. And that's acute, and that could be an MI. That's why they need to call 911. The next one is uh, variant angina. Now, variant angina is a little bit different than stable angina. Now, variant angina is they're sleeping at night, and for whatever reason, the spasm in the vessels causes chest pain. So it's very characteristic sleeping at night. Um, it's because of, I always think of variant Prince Metal is also the name. And these patients, because you can't wake up and just take nitro, so what they do is they say, okay, well, you have Prince Metal, so we know that this is going to be a problem at nighttime. So they put them on something like Isobide or Imdur, I-M-D-R. And Imdur is chronic over time. It's a nitrate. And to prevent in the future. However, the person will also have nitro. Okay. And... A lot of times these patients in Prince Metal, these these spasms, they get put on CA blockers, calcium channel blockers like Norvasc. Because calcium's hard and calcium blockers make the vessels softer and less spasmy. That's what I kind of think of. Now we'll talk about the last condition. Now, because both of these have the same treatments as far as um, rest and um, nitro there's a rule with nitro and the rule is that when a person has chest pain they either rest and they take nitro sublingual under their tongue and um under their tongue yeah it's under their tongue make them have a goatee 
Um, and uh, because it's sublingual, because it goes into the uh, directly into the uh, coronary arteries and, um, and enterohepatic recycling. And what happens is, is that it bypasses the liver and basically goes right to the bloodstream. And then what happens is it causes vasodilation, which then hopefully will decrease the amount of pain and that's below the heart. Okay? Or, um, so they take that first nitro and they wait. Does the chest pain go away? After five minutes, um, if the chest pain hasn't gone away, they take their second nitro. So they take their second nitro um, and they do the same thing. So they do nitro one, sublingual. Do they have chest pain? Chest pain. Yes, they take a second nitro, sublingual. Do they still have chest pain? Yes, uh, call 911 if they're at home. They don't drive or you know, they call 911, EMS, okay? Um, and then they wait five minutes. And in the th another five minutes, if they still have chest pain, they take another sublingual nitro. And at that time, we've elapsed 15 minutes. Okay, five, 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 five. So this 15 minutes, time is muscle. And what happens on the heart is that you have to think about what's going on here. If you have your coronary arteries and they are, they are blocked here, well, all these cells down here are starving for O2. And you've been trying to nitro, 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 and it hasn't vasodilated, it hasn't solved this problem down here. Um, the problem is, is that they're going to have um, a myocardial infarction, an MI. And the reason is, is because of this timing. So a patient who has three nitros is being worked up for an MI. And that's the next lecture where I talk about MI protocol. And another thing to remember is that stable angina, variant angina, can become unstable angina. So the end result is, what's unstable angina? Well, unstable angina is unrelieved chest pain with nitro. It means that there is no real mechanism that's happening. They're, not, they're resting. It happens whenever. Person's just having chest pain. So it's not because of an action of resting or sleeping. They have chest pain. They've been given nitro times three. It hasn't gone away. We have unstable angina. And unstable angina is um, not repeatable. It needs to be treated now. It's acute. There's an acute process going on. And that acute process is myocardial infarction. And myocardial infarction is my next lecture, lecture 27, where I cover uh, ONA MB and the procedure for when a patient presents with unstable angina. Well, that's about it. My name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp. I can be found on um, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy, and Twitter. Say hello, and until next time, nurse on, and we'll talk to you then.